Good evening, family. Welcome to a brand new week. Welcome to tonight's prayer. God bless you. I hope you had a lovely weekend. So my name is Faith and this is Joy Inzo Intercessory Prayer Group. We meet here every Monday to Friday from 9 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. to pray for the Unreached People Group. So we are here again tonight and to pray. So before we begin our prayers tonight, let's bless the name of the Lord. Let's thank him for his goodness, for keeping us all through the week and for the grace and privilege to be here again to pray for the Irish people. We we'll pray in the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Father, for keeping us all through the weekend and for bringing us back here again today, this beautiful brand new week, to pray for the unreachable group, to stand in the gap and intercede for those people. Father, we say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for every intercessor in the house, all that will be joining tonight's prayer. We thank you, Lord Jesus for today's people group and for what you are set to do in their lives, in the community today. We say thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would empower us to pray the will of the Father tonight. And above all, Father, let your kingdom come and let your will be done. Have your way tonight, O Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Amen. So, we're here tonight to pray for the Berta in Ethiopia, the Berta in Ethiopia, Ethiopia, sorry. So now, um, if you're joining us for the first time, you were very welcome. We're glad to have you here today. And you might want, want to know who are the unreached people group. Now, these people, they are ethnic group of people. They speak the same language. They come from the same culture. They, they, they practice the same culture. But these people do not know Jesus Christ. They are not saved. They don't have access to gospel materials. There are mostly no Christians among them or around them to evangelize to them. And sometimes if there are Christians among them, they are not uh, that many. They are mostly not more than 2% of Christians, which is not enough to evangelize the whole of their community. So this is why they need outside help to evangelize them. And this is why they also need us to you know, stand the gap and intercede and pray for them. And that is why we are here today. So we have some um, summary information about those people group that we usually share and this information we get from the Joshua Project platform. You can find them on joshuaproject.net. You can also find them on the Joshua Project um, Facebook page to know more about this unleashed people group and how you can be a part of this great commission. I tell you one way you can be a part is by you know, you can adopt an unrich people group and dedicate time daily to pray for them. You can also involve your friends, your family, your pastors, you know, to come together and pray for this unrich people group. You can also adopt a missionary group, those people who, you know, take the gospel to the unrich people community, to the ends of the earth, they take the gospel everywhere. You can adopt um, a missionary group and support them with your finance, with your prayers, and knowing that as you, whichever one you decide, as you do this, you're fulfilling scripture, you're doing the will of the Father, and the Lord will bless you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So back to tonight's people group, a brief um, history about the Berta, the Berta people in Ethiopia. Now, those people group, they are they have a population of 338,000 and a world population of 599,000. Um, they speak the Berta language and their primary religion is Islam. They have 2.0 percent um, Christian adherent and 0.10 percent evangelical. They have access to portions of the Bible, that is, they, they are 
There's a translation of portions of the Bible available in the beta language. And they don't have access to online New Testament Bible. They don't have access to the Jesus name, meaning the Jesus name, the online audio New Testament Bible, they are not available in the beta language. And um, but they have audio recordings, they have access to audio recordings, but their status is still unreached. Their status is still unreached, okay. So, very few of the Berta people in Ethiopia have accepted Christ. And after several centuries of Arab Sudanese influence, most, most, have, most of them have embraced Islam. And the majority are farmers. During weddings, men play large calabash trumpets called the waza. Waza. Okay, was her. Now, the ministry obstacle to this people group is that even though the better people are officially Muslim, they believe in religious specialists who practice healing and display divination powers. The better believes these spirit, um, specialists have the ability to deal with evil spirits, they do not accept Christ's ways. But there is good news. The outreach ideas on how we can reach these people is that there are many evangelical Christians in Ethiopia. So these believers can go to that can go as missionaries and commit themselves to taking the gospel to all unreached tribes in Ethiopia. Hallelujah. So we're going to pray upon this outreach idea. We're going to pray. For those um, evangelical Christians in Ethiopia, that God should put his zeal in their hearts and so that they would take the gospel to all the unreached tribes in Ethiopia. They would take the gospel to all the unreached tribes in Ethiopia in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so we pray, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, for the Berta people of Ethiopia. We thank you, Lord, for the Ethiopia people in general. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the evangelical Christians in Ethiopia. We pray that you will put your zeal in your heart. You will put your zeal in your heart for them to take the gospel, Lord, to go to all the unreached tribes in Ethiopia in the name of Jesus. Amen. We pray that even right now in this decade, O oh God, put your zeal in their heart. Let it be a burden upon them to take the gospel, O oh Lord, to all the unreached tribes in Ethiopia. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So that at the end, oh God, every tribe in Ethiopia would have heard about Jesus. They would have received our Savior Jesus as the Lord and Savior in the name of Jesus, amen. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for the believers in Ethiopia to take the gospel, to go as missionaries, to commit themselves to taking the gospel to all the unreached tribes in Ethiopia in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, Amen. Li pa kado si ba handa libre de us, masu pa kalia handa maseke libre de gere. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ for for the believers, for the Christians, oh God, lika pa kado si ya in Ethiopia that they would go as missionaries, oh God, taking the gospel, committing themselves to taking the gospel to the unreached tribe in Ethiopia. To the unreached tribes in Ethiopia, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We'll see that happening right now. We'll see that happening in this decade. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. Father, we thank you, Lord, that as a result, every tribe in Ethiopia, O oh Lord, will receive you as a Lord and Savior. The gospel will take over, Lord Jesus. Every tribe in Ethiopia, even in this decade, Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you, mighty Father. Bless be your name in Jesus' precious name. We pray, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. So we are going to pray again, okay? Before this, let us read our scripture focus for tonight. Our scripture focus for tonight is taken from Habakkuk three and verse eighteen. Habakkuk three and verse eighteen, and it says, "Yet I will rejoice 
in the Lord. I will joy, I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Hallelujah. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will take joy in the God of my salvation. Amen. And so, Father, we are going to pray with the scripture. We are going to say, we are going to pray for those people group that they would learn to rejoice in the Lord and his salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so, we pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we commit the better people of Ethiopia to your hands, O God. We pray that let them come to learn, O God, to rejoice in you. Let them rejoice in the Lord and his salvation in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let cause this people group to rejoice in the Lord and his salvation. In the name of Jesus, amen. Let this people come to rejoice in the Lord and his salvation. Let this people come to rejoice in the Lord and his salvation. Let the birth of people of Ethiopia in Ethiopia come to rejoice, O God, in the Lord and his salvation. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Lay pass Subahaya, La Zubahanda Libre de Usa, O Kalepukuto, Sike Libre Hende, the better people of Ethiopia. Father, they are rejoicing in you, Lord. They rejoice in you. They rejoice in your salvation. They embrace the salvation of Jesus. They rejoice in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Masu Kalibre Hende, Lay Pakatu Sika Liahanda, La Sukopoko Liahanda. They are receiving the teaching teachings of Jesus Christ. They are receiving the gospel right now. They are receiving the salvation of our Lord and they rejoice in the Lord and his salvation in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for the better people of Ethiopia. They are receiving the gospel right now. They are embracing the gospel of Jesus and they rejoice. God, they rejoice in the Lord and his salvation. Oh, as they hear the word of the Lord, as they receive it, as they believe it, oh God, they begin to experience the love of Jesus, begin to experience the love of Christ. They begin to experience the joy of the Lord and his salvation and they rejoice in his Lord, in the name of Jesus, amen. They rejoice in his Lord, they rejoice in the Lord and his salvation, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Thank you, Father, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray, amen and amen. We're going to pray again, because there are few Christians among the better. So we're going to pray for them to become firmly established in the faith, not wavering in their commitment to know and follow Christ. Amen. Father, we are praying for the few believers among the greater people that they will become firmly established in the faith. They will be established in the faith. They will be established in your kingdom in the name of Jesus. They will not be with they will they will not waver over in their commitment to knowing you and following you. Oh, Kala brother, they will not be wavering over in their commitment to knowing and following Christ in the name of Jesus. Father, I will pray, let those people be confirmed in their establishment. Over. Let them be established in the faith, in the kingdom and the church of Christ for life in the name of Jesus. Father, I will pray for the believers among the brethren people that they will be firm in their faith they will be established in their faith they will be strong in the faith not wavering in their commitment to knowing and following Christ in the name of Jesus Oh, Palazubaha Kalibrendo Sikata, Masupa Handa Lekutosa, will pray that those people will become firmly established in the faith, O God, not wavering in their commitment to knowing and following Jesus. Oh, Masiba Handa Kalagada, they will begin to begin and, and continue to press in Christ, O God. They will continue to press in their knowledge and of, of the truth about Christ, and they will continue to see and experience. Jesus, as they be, become established in the faith and in the kingdom, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. Masupa kalibre hende, lay pakado sika palagada. Those people, Lord, la siya handa. They will become firmly established in the faith. They will become firmly established in your kingdom, not wavering in 
and their commitment to knowing and following Christ in the name of Jesus. La subahaya, libren do sikada, masunto libre que dosa, leipa subahanda yabada, le subahanda kalibi. In the name of Jesus, oh Father, we pray, Lord, let them be established in the faith. Let them be established in your word. Let them be established in your kingdom, Lord. Not wavering in their commitment, but standing firm, oh God, committed to the faith. In the name of Jesus, lay pakadosia, established in your kingdom. La subahanda legede. In the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, lay pakatosi calibregedosa, oh Father, we pray for the graces among the better that they will become firmly established in the faith, not wavering in their commitment to knowing and following Christ in the name of Jesus. Oh, they are firmly established in the faith, they are strong in the faith, they are established in your word, they are established in your kingdom. Their commitment to the Lord is true and firm and solid in the name of Jesus, la supakaya, libre dosia handa. Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for the Christians among the better. Thank you for empowering them, Lord. Thank you for strengthening them in the faith, for establishing them in the faith and your kingdom, Lord. We say thank you in the name of Jesus Christ for empowering them to stay committed to their knowing, to their to their to their seeking, to their knowledge about Christ, to their following Jesus. We say thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, as they continue to press more in Christ, press more in their knowledge. Knowledge of the truth about Christ. Oh, this Sabado, Sike Hende Kelebedosia, Masuka Palia Handa. They begin to know Jesus experientially. They begin to live in the reality of their knowledge of Christ and the truth about Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So next we're going to pray for God's word to be translated into the better language. Because right now there's just a portion of the Bible translated in the better world. Praying for a complete translation of the Bible in the better language. I will pray for, for okay. For a complete Translation of the Bible in the better language in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mazubalente librehende. Father, we pray, O oh God, right now that even in this decade, Lord Jesus, beginning this year, right now, as we speak, Lord, Reba Handa Libre Dosia. We pray for the translation of the complete Bible in the better language in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mazubahandi Libre Dosa. Father, we pray, O oh God, for the Bible to be translated, O oh God, into the better language. We pray for the complete translation of the Bible in the better language in the name of Jesus La Subahanda, that they will have access to your word, to your complete word, to your truth O God as a press oh God to seek you to know you as a press in their study oh Lord in their knowledge in their study to know you Lord but pray oh God that right now let it be a move oh God for the complete translation of the Bible in the better language in the name of Jesus we pray that even now in this decade let it be the move oh God for the complete translation of the Bible in the better language in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Masupakanda lay preketusa la sofaliamanda. Father, we pray, O oh God, for your word to be translated into the better language, for the complete translation of the Bible into the better language in this decade. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because it's happening right now. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus, for the complete translation of the Bible in the better language. Father, we thank you, Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. We're going to pray again. We're praying for rising. Um, we're praying for adequate supplies of clean water and rainfall for their crops and livestock in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, we pray that you will 
open your blessings, oh God, the windows of heaven, oh God, unto those better people. You will pour out a blessing upon them, oh Lord. We pray that you will release unto them last look up early to this year. Supplies of clean drinking water and rainfall for their crops and livestock in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we pray for adequate supplies of clean water, clean drinking water and rainfall for their crops and livestock in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray, oh God, for those better people. We'll pray for Kolisa Kalerda, adequate supplies of clean water, adequate supplies of drinking water and rainfall for their crops and livestock in the name of Jesus. Amen. We'll pray for adequate supplies of drinking water for the better people and we pray for rainfall for their crops and their livestock in the name of Jesus. Amen. La zeketo sikayaba la superhanda libredos. Father, we thank you, Lord. La superlende, leipa kanto si kalagada. Thank you for the supply, for the release of, of supply of clean drinking water to this people group. Thank you for adequate rainfall for their crops and their livestock in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for blessing them. Thank you for the release of your blessings of clean water and rainfall for their livestock and crops in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be your name of God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We are praying for rising literacy rates among the youths. I we are praying for the better people to look to the Lord for all their physical, spiritual needs and to find him faithful in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Lord, we pray for a rising literacy rate among the youths of the of, of the better people in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for a rising literacy rate among the youths of the better people in the name of Jesus. We pray for a rising literacy rate in the name of Jesus. We pray Kalazubahanda. We'll pray for a rising literacy rate among the youth of the better people. In the name of Jesus, amen. We'll pray, O oh God, for those better people that they will begin to look to the Lord for their physical and spiritual needs and find Him faithful in the name of Jesus. Those people will look up to you for their physical and spiritual needs. Let them begin to look up to God, up to you, Father, for their physical and spiritual needs. Let them no longer call, 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 begin to seek mediums, but rather let them come to you, Lord, the one and only true God. Let them come to you for their physical and spiritual need and let them find you faithful because indeed you're a faithful God and everyone who seeks you find you, Lord. Father, as they begin to come, as they begin to search, oh Lord, meet you for their physical and spiritual need, they will find you faithful in the name of Jesus. They will know that you, indeed you're the God that supplies all our needs. You're the God that blesses us with all your riches and as no sorrow in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will bless those people, O oh Lord. O oh, Lisipa Handa Calibredusia, that you they will find you faithful, O oh Lord, as they come to you for their physical and spiritual needs in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we pray for the better people to look to you. They will look to the Lord. They will look to the Lord Jesus Christ for all their physical and spiritual needs, and they will find them faithful. They will find them faithful in the name of Jesus. We pray for those people to begin to look to the Lord for their physical and spiritual needs and they will find him faithful in the name of Jesus because indeed our Lord is too faithful to pay. Indeed our Lord is a provider. Our Lord is a supplier. Our Lord blesses. He protects. He saves. The Lord heals all his and we we'll pray that in this decade right now let us feel begin to seek the face of the Lord for their physical and spiritual needs and let them find him faithful. Let them find him faithful in that mighty name of Jesus Christ, Amen. Oh, Father, we thank you, Lord. Thank you for meeting the physical and the spiritual needs of the better people. Thank you, Jesus, for showing them your faithfulness. For 
giving them the grace to experience, oh Lord, your faithfulness. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray for the a spiritual hunger that will give them hearts that seek after God. Amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, for that for the rise of a spiritual hunger among this people group. A spiritual hunger that will give them a heart to seek after God. Father, let it be released unto this people now in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that among these better people in Ethiopia, let there be a rise of a spiritual hunger, O oh Lord, that will give them a heart to begin to seek after God in the name of Jesus. Thus, people will begin to seek you. We we'll pray, O oh God, lay kapakatusia for the rise of the spiritual hunger in them. Father, let the spiritual hunger be better in them as they hear your word, as they come in contact with your word, as they listen, as they believe, O oh God. We we'll pray, Kala Zupahanda, let the spiritual hunger be better in them. Let the spiritual hunger be better in them. And let their hearts continue to seek after you. Let their hearts continually seek after you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. They will not go back. They will not go back to their previous worship. Oh, indeed, they, as they study your word, as they begin to seek you, begin to come seek you lord they will begin to see and know the futility of their current worship and their hearts oh god will be drawn to you they will be drawn to you oh lord in the name of jesus christ amen we'll pray for a spiritual hunger that will give them a heart oh god that seeks after you that seeks after god the one and only true god and the son jesus christ in the mighty name of jesus amen we'll pray oh lord that you will birth a spiritual hunger oh God, in the life and the heart of the better people that they are, that will result in a heart that will give them a heart oh God that seeks after you that seeks after your son Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus amen oh my that even in the sick father they are coming to salvation they are receiving the salvation of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ amen Father, we thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray, O oh God, for workers who will teach the better people, the better be believers to make more disciples. Amen. Father, we we'll pray for workers who will teach better believers to make more disciples. In the name of Jesus, amen. Father, we pray la super kalia for a disciple making movement among the brethren. For disciple making movement among the brethren, we we'll pray for workers so who we'll go to those people, who we'll go to those people and begin to disciple the brethren believers in the ways of the Lord. Disciple them in ways that they will begin to disciple others, that will teach them the way that they will begin to spread the gospel to their family, to their friends. They will begin to disciple members of their community in the ways of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, amen. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you will send forth workers to the better believers, to disciple them in the ways that they will begin to disciple others. They will begin to disciple members of their families, members of their communities, members of their tribes, in the name of Jesus, amen. La subaha ligedes, masupe librehende, u kalasenti librehende, masu kalabada. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for the release of workers who go, Holy Ghost filled workers who go, who will teach the better believers in ways of God that they will begin to disciple others. They will begin to make more disciples among their friends, among their families, among their tribes. So God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for the breath of people. Thank you for remembering them this day. Thank you for what you are doing in their community in among this people group right now through our prayers, oh God, and through the prayers of the intercessors all over the world. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for sending forth your word to them. Thank you for the translation of the complete Bible in the better language. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your name. Thank you, mighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for making greater, more disciples among this people group in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father, for multiplying, oh God, the followers of Christ among those people. Thank you for multiplying the followers of Christ among those people. Blessed be God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' matchless name, we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. 
God bless you. Thank you so much, family. Thank you for joining us tonight. YouTube, please ensure you so so ensure you subscribe if you've not done so so that you can um you know be notified whenever these prayers are uploaded and you can join in praying for the unreached people if you're following on here on facebook please keep the time 9 p.m daily um from monday to friday 9 p.m nigeria time so you can join and intercede for the unreached people group as you keep doing that the lord keep blessing you in the name of jesus christ amen have a blessed night Shalom.